So it's 2025 and with that we've had Spotify wrapped out for the 626 million users of it for about a month. And people aren't happy. For the largest music streaming platform in the world, I expected some pizzazz, but Spotify seems to have reversed their innovation out of here, getting rid of good features like which city your music taste is like, or audio auras, or even just stupid basic features you expect like your top genres. Instead, they replaced it with hyper-specific AI-generated shit, like Molgoth Rocko Metalcore? What is that? Let's attempt to make it better. Okay, first, format. The highlight reel setup is good in that it allows for music to play in the background, which makes sense, and allows Spotify to put on some pretty cool animations. However, when it comes to looking at stats, at a quick glance, this setup is pretty much the worst possible, needing to click through each slide to get to the next one. Of course, you want to watch the whole thing through the first time, but when you're trying to flex on some nerds that you were a top 0.01% listener of KSI, you gotta be quick. Now, I hate to be an Apple fanboy, so this is the only time I'll bring up Apple Music, but they have both a highlight reel and a dashboard, which gives more functionality and insight. With that said, entirely changing the layout after like 8 strong years, and now that people are used to it, probably isn't the best idea, so instead we're going to copy Reddit Recap. Scrolling instead of clicking makes way more sense. Like Reddit, let's move our navigation to the right, but since we're going to have videos, let's expand this into our progress bar too. When I look at this layout, my first question is why the share button isn't immediately and always visible, and why everything is so damn far away. We get it, pushing everything to the top looks good, but all the important shit should actually be at the bottom of the screen, where it's easier to reach. Spotify only works in the app, unlike Apple Music, <clears throat> sorry guys, which is accessible online, so we don't need to worry about a giant ass browser bar getting in the way of our navigation. Let's make a share button and put it down here since that's literally the reason behind why Spotify Wrapped is so successful, that'll automatically pause the video when it's clicked. Speaking of pausing, do we really need this button? Spotify Wrapped is quite clearly catered to Gen Z, and if any of them don't know the whole tap to pause feature on every single social media platform, then that's their issue. This way, we can get rid of the pause button, keep the X up here, and move the volume to the bottom. And now a quick word from our sponsor, me. Are you a designer? Do you like money? If you do, come participate in our monthly design challenges on the Newform community for the chance to win up to $1,500. It's free to join, so just hit the first link in the description down below. Back to the video. I'm thinking we could break down Wrapped into chapters. Now, my plan was to have four chapters named Songs, Artists, Genres, and Evolution, but ChatGPT had some much better suggestions that we'll just pretend I came up with. We're going to put these into a drop-down chip at the bottom of the screen so you can easily skip to the part you want. Each chapter will have its own screen and a button to view a summary. It'll act as our dashboard, where most of the stats are readily visible and easily shareable without exiting from this format. Now with that out of the way. On to the interesting shit. What features to add, or re-add? Audio auras of course need to come back, but I think we can get a little creative with all the data Spotify collects. Like seriously, if you knew everything they collect on you, you'd be disgusted. Every single play, skip, search, and like is tracked. With that said, let's break down the features into the four chapters. Chapter 1, The Hits. This focuses on top songs and listening habits which should be prioritized. Of course, we'll be keeping these classics just with our updated navigation since there's not much else to modify. I think that adding the most skipped song to rap could be really funny too, especially if it's a particularly bad song. I think Spotify had this in 2022, but we should also add a late night anthem because people listen to some weird stuff after 10pm. Not that U2 is weird. Chapter 2, The Voices. This is centered around artists, and once again, we'll keep the classics of top artist and artist leaderboard. But for top artist, I want to add some text below that compares this year to last. So if you stream them for 2200 minutes this year and only 1000 last year, we'll say it was a 120% increase from last year. Or if they're brand new, we'll say you two just met in April. I want to add two more slides. One, The Rising Star, the artist that's been climbing your personal charts in recent months. And Your Obsession, which is the artist that you really only listen to one song for most of the time. For example, you were hooked on Let Her Go, 87% of your passenger streams came from this one track. Chapter 3, The Vibes. This is where we're going to have some fun. In past years, Spotify has come up with some really intuitive ideas on how to display the vibes of your music, but completely flopped this year. Audio Aura is just an unmatched idea from last year. It basically matches songs to colors and creates a sweet mesh gradient as a result. 
The only missed opportunity Spotify had was to include it this year and allow users to compare their auras from previous years. Here's also a good place to put their top genres for the year. I also had a really, really weird idea to represent the vibes. Fruit. Now, bear with me for a quick second. Most fruit is pretty universally known, very easy to represent with something like emojis, and quirky but simple enough to make it easily shareable. Plus, then I can make a pie chart and call it the fruit pie. It's a win-win. Chapter 4, The Journey. Okay, this, in my humble opinion, is where Spotify really f***ed up. They decided to represent genres with weird AI garbage. It was not well received by people who actually didn't want to be unique and instead be classified into a few select categories. With that said, I understand why Spotify did it since there really aren't that many genres and so it lacks specificity and personalization. Instead, let's start with the most consistent artists throughout the year. For the journey of their listening taste, let's keep it stupid simple and give them the option to swipe through each month, because if you're only going to show them some months, then what's the point? Okay, so we briefly touched on sharing, but honestly Spotify, you gotta beef up your game here. Like, being able to share each slide individually kinda sucks. So how about we give users the ability to share the entire show or certain chapters? Originally, I put a button down here to share the chapter, but with another one right here, that could absolutely be confusing. So instead, let's simplify and just have this one button. When you click on it, you get three options, share slide, share chapter, or share wrapped. When you share a chapter or an entire wrapped, the person you send it to will see your name at the top, just so they don't get confused if it's yours or theirs, even though they'll pick up on it pretty quick when they see your top artist is KSI. If you want to grab all the assets I put together for this redesign, it'll be the first link in the description down below. Other than that, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.